All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting out here at the Mifflin County Sportsman's Association. Believe it or not, this is the first time I have shot a firearm this year. Well, what is it? March 1? I can't believe it. In any case, in true rookie fashion, without being in practice, came out to the range without, one, my big camera, two, a tripod to put it on, and three, earmuffs, eye protection, paint, steel. We were lucky enough that Mifflin County has a couple pieces of steel sitting out there so we have the range to ourselves it's a little bit snowy on the edges but uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun what i did bring with me was this guy right here this is the palmetto state armory dagger i'm gonna tell you something nine millimeter compact version of a glocktation uh glock clone kind of thing but i am really digging how this thing the ergonomics the way it feels now what we're going to do is i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to shoot some rounds down range good friend of mine pops quest uh and a lot of other people had some issues with the trigger pin walking out. And let's see if they resolved that. We're going to go ahead and use a couple of happy sticks, that kind of thing. So for the reviewer from uh, Palmetto or <laughs> from the guys over there at YouTube, I want you to go look at the Hummel Marksman because he does a great explanation. And I'm not trying to sell this thing. I'm just doing a field uh, show how or what my experiences are. Nothing illegal. We're at a safe area. We're at a shooting range. It's private. And uh, that's basically it. So, guys, bear with me. We're going to do a couple shots, see what it looks like. i got to put the ears, these things in. At least I can remember these guys. And then we're going to take it back to the table and uh, do an in-depth review on things that I like about this pistol and right off the bat, some of the cons. So, anyway, let's get busy and do some shooting. Stand by. All right, so before we put some rounds down range, I just want to give a big shout-out to the guys over there at Callaway Ballistics who uh, sent some ammo to the channel, which makes this video literally possible. So in any case, we're going to be shooting 115 grain round nose to this guy to start off with. And then we're going to upgrade to 124 grain with some of my my loads, uh, and hopefully it'll run. We'll find out. Here we go. Stand by. That was a lot of fun. Now... Uh, in accordance with uh, the YouTube thing, uh, this is a 15 round magazine. It's just a standard magazine, nothing special. But what I'd like to say, uh, recoil was very nice on it. Uh, the ergonomics of the grip is very nice. Uh, it did lock back. I took this right out of the really cool bag that they sent. So no uh, lubricant on it whatsoever. Let's go ahead and stand that piece of steel back through it and we'll go ahead and do this again. <laughs> Now, one of the things I often look at is the ejection pattern because uh, Glock is normally set up for 124 grain. Maybe back in the day, I'm not sure. But anyway, what I'm looking for is a nice arc way across and out the back. I don't want stuff that's going straight up in front of the pistol or behind it and hit me in the forehead. So let's take a look at that real carefully. Here we go. There it is. And a consistent ejection pattern. Okay, so again, beautiful lot back. That's 30 rounds to this thing. I am trying to take notice of the trigger pin right here to see if it's going to walk out at all. Pretty neat. Let's uh, load it up again, and uh, we'll check out the trigger next. This is it's kind of fun for me, man. I haven't done a pistol review in such a long time, so I'm very excited about this. Let's check out that uh, trigger and the reset. As far as triggers go, it's very smooth. Uh, I don't have any complaints. I am going to glamp that other one out with a Timmy trigger, but for a carry gun, perfect trigger. What's my carry gun of choice? <laughs> this guy right here, so I'm very used to it. Now, uh, the triggers are quite different, but we'll take a look at that on the tabletop. All right, here we go. Okay, so taking a look at this trigger, let me get it out of the way. It's hinged, okay? Let's go ahead and release that slot. It's clear. So as you can see, it comes up like this, but as you bring the pressure to it, it releases that safety right there, and it forms more of a flat face trigger, which I find is nice. It's smooth. There's no dingle dangle dopper in there. So let's do this. We're going to check out the trigger pull, how smooth it is, and the reset, which I find is actually pretty, pretty damn nice. So here we go. All right, watch the reset. Not bad. One-handed. Oops. 
even with unsupported single hand shooting, okay, uh, with my strong hand, the ejection pattern was quite nice. Uh, what else we do? Let's take a look at those sights because these have, these things are bad to the bone. I think these are True Glow, uh, Tritium night sights, but let's see how they translate to that target down range. I haven't done one of these things in a long time, so I'm very excited. Here we go. Stand by. All right, so let's take a look at these sights. The rear sights have a serrated edge on the back, eliminates glare. We've got an orange single point up here and tritium night sight. They both glow pretty nice and they are raised for use with a suppressor. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put a, a, uh, a Holosun uh, 509 on this thing and uh, with a really cool deal with, uh, what do you call them guys? Primary arms. But anyway, well, there we go. Come on now. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? On a carry gun, uh, how often are you going to use the sights? In a situation, you're going to use sight alignment more than you are going to be doing anything precision-wise. Well, oh, there's no steel there. <laughs> anyway, it, those are beautiful sights. Look at those serrations. Look at that gun. It is just a good looking handgun. The stippling on it, on the grip, is perfect. The only problem that I have, and it's specific to me, is I could have seen these edges rounded off a little bit because that does hit my thumb. But that's petty, right? Nice. Okay, so what we're trying to do now is we're gonna put some additional rounds down range. As you know, ammo is not something that's cheap anymore, but I am trying to see if that trigger pin will walk on it. Uh, there's another thing that I, as petty, but it's something that I, I figure is a con, is the mag release button. It's uh, a little stiff, uh, <laughs> but it does work quite nicely. I'm trying to think I got a bunch of Glock mags in my pocket, but uh, as you can see, you really got to get up in there with your finger. It's a, something that you just have to train with. I do like the cutout right here for removal. So that is something that's nice. So I'm gonna take a different magazine. As you can see, this one right here, okay? And we're gonna put in there. And uh, I think these standard size Glock mags are made by some company that I can't remember who they're made by. But anyway, standard mag. And these are my reloads, so I'm hoping that they work. Out there goes the steel. Oh, malfunction. Not bad. Uh, oh, I love that smell. That's a good smell, isn't it? Of course, you guys can't smell it. But if you could, you'd be saying it was a good smell. Hey, let's do that again, shall we? I just, I like the way it feels. Uh, I'm a love a, a big fan of beaver tails. You guys know I like beaver tails. Again, I, I would really like to see this smooth off, but that's petty. A little bit of action with a... Uh, a little file, you can take care of that. I can't wait to put that 509 on top of this thing. Might put an RMR on the other one, the Glamour Glock. That trigger is something else. The sights just make it perfect, right? The, re the recoil. <laughs> it's not existing. So, uh, as far as a field review of this guy, maybe maybe a two-part series, we'll take it back and I'll show you the unboxing that came with it, a bag. One 15-round magazine, it is a P-Mag, uh, which worked flawlessly. Uh, stainless steel slide, DLC coating, polymer, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, threaded barrel, stainless steel guide rod, believe it or not, which is nice. That's uh, not a standard uh, thing that comes on a Glock. Uh, but yeah, we're going to see how it performs. I've got a good friend of mine, X-Ring, who, by the way, has a new channel that's coming out. I'm going to put the link down below. 
he's going to be test driving cars, high performance cars. Didn't know that, but you didn't know that about him. But in any case, uh, we'll put this through a box opening and a comparison with the Glock that I'm building. Uh, it's going to be using these things. You can get these lower separate complete. They're serialized. But uh, yeah, trigger pin didn't walk a dime on this thing. Uh, I like it. I like the finger cuts right here. I like a little bit of a magwell uh, opening at the bottom, as you can see right there. She's warm. So that being said, <laughs> my first uh, firearm review of the year. It took long enough. It's Coda Boy 32, or KB 32. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and have already done so. It's more red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women, in uniform 24 7 for our freedom. Freedom's not free. Y'all be good. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm out of here. Y'all be good. See ya.